Hey guys, it's Faith, and today I am doing a tag video. I saw this video on Taming the Frizz's channel, and it sounded like fun, so I thought that I would go ahead and give it a shot. It's a Sunday afternoon here. Um, we just got home from church and had lunch, and the kids are um, over there watching a show for a little bit, and I'm gonna try to get this done really quickly. So if you hear any background noises and stuff, they're just, they're right there. So. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the homemaker tag. And there's 20 questions for this tag and I'm gonna just jump right into it. Question number one is, has anybody ever said anything to you that's negative about being a stay-at-home mom? Yeah, of course. Um, I've heard at all, pretty much. Um, I had a pretty good job before I had kids and worked at the hospital, one of the big hospitals here. And um, yeah, I've heard a lot of negative things about choosing to stay home for various reasons, but I don't really care. Question number two is, what is your favorite and least favorite part of being a stay-at-home mom? My favorite part, of course, is that I get to be at home with my kids every day and I'm the one who's raising them, I'm the one who's teaching them, I get to watch them grow. I've been there for all of their first words, first steps, those big milestones I've been a part of because I'm home. So I love that part of it. My least favorite part would be the lack of adult interaction and sometimes that makes me go really crazy and to the point that I like want to talk to strangers in the store just because I haven't had a conversation with adults forever. Question number three is what is your favorite and least favorite chore? Um, my favorite chore would probably be vacuuming. The kids really love it and they like act like the vacuum is trying to get them and run around and it's crazy and it makes me laugh every time. And my least favorite would probably be dusting, probably. I don't know. It's a close tie between dusting and mopping the floor. I don't know why, especially since I like sweeping the floor and we have a steam mop, but I don't like to mop. And I really don't like dusting just because I don't like to take like all of the pictures and like stuff down to dust it and then put it back. I put it off like as long as I can. Literally, you'll be able to like write your name and stuff before I will break down and dust sometimes because I just hate it so much. Question number four is what time do you wake up and go to sleep every day? And early would be the answer to both of those. Um, we put our kids to bed between 7 and 7.30 and a lot of times I'll fall asleep with my daughter because she likes me to lay down with her as she falls asleep and I intend to just lay there for a few minutes and end up falling asleep too. Um, but even then, I don't know if it just makes me tired because I'm laying there with her because even if I don't fall asleep in bed with her, I wanna go to sleep pretty much right after that. So if it's if I'm not trying to stay up intentionally, I go to sleep really early. And the alarm is set for 5.30 every morning, but I am a snoozer and I hit the snooze button for probably like half hour before I actually get out of bed sometimes. I know, I know that's terrible, I'm working on it. It's one of those like new year things that I'm trying to work on is getting up earlier. But no matter when I wake up, my kids wake up at the same time. My son especially is such a light sleeper and as soon as I like open my eyes, he hears them open and needs to like follow me. Question number five is, do you put anything on in the background when you cook, clean, or work? And yes. I do, I watch YouTube when I am cooking or cleaning and also um, sometimes I'll listen to a podcast. Those are really the only times that I watch YouTube or listen to podcasts um, other than sometimes when I'm falling asleep, I'll listen to a podcast. But um, yeah, that's the little chunk of day is usually when I'm cooking dinner, sometimes when I'm cleaning, but usually when I'm like cooking dinner. So number six is do you get dressed or stay in your pajamas most days? And I get dressed most days. I do in-home childcare, so I have people here and um, rather than answering the door in my pajamas, I do get up and get dressed. Question number seven is do you do your hair and makeup most days? No, I do not. Um, I would say more than not. Uh, I don't have makeup on and my hair is usually just like thrown up however it's very rare that I actually do my hair to where I'm gonna like straighten it or curl it or blow it dry or something typically I'm like an air dry ponytail kind of girl um, just I have a ton of hair it's really thick and it's 
just horrible. So um, it's rare. I have to be like going somewhere out of the house to do my hair. My makeup, I do try to put on at least a little bit of makeup, um, but I normally don't do like a full face of makeup every day. Um, but I try to at least do like, you know, under eye like concealer or something like that, just a little bit so that I don't look like I'm dying. Question number eight is what is the trouble zone of your house that needs help? Mine is definitely my kitchen bar. We have like a breakfast bar and that is actually where I'm sitting right now and it is a mess right now. I'm not gonna show it to you. Um, stuff just kind of accumulates there and like stuff like crayons and coloring books and things that my kids are constantly getting into. Um, I'm When we move to the new house, I'm hoping this won't be an issue. Well, I'm assuming it won't be an issue because we aren't gonna have a breakfast bar anymore. But um, in this house, that is definitely the trouble spot. Question number nine is how often do you get distracted? Pretty much constantly, <laughs> every day, always. I am very, very easily distracted. I just am. Number 10 is do you enjoy staying home or do you miss going to work every day? And I would say both. I. I love being home with my kids, um, but I do miss that adult interaction that I mentioned before. I miss having like friends at work. Sometimes being a stay-at-home mom can feel extremely lonely because you, your friends are your kids and there's no like grown-up time. So um, I do, I do miss that, but I, um, but I, I, I wouldn't change it. I, I'm not ready to like say I wish that I worked because I don't. I love being home with them. But I do miss, I do miss the grown ups sometimes. Question 11 is what is your never ending chore? Pretty much everything, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, everything, laundry, dishes, like the kitchen, like the clutter in the kitchen, that, everything, everything. It feels like it's never ending. I don't think my house has ever all been clean all at once. It's constantly something. Question number 12 is what is your favorite thing to do for me time? I really don't know. I, I'm um, kind of working to do me time. I'm not good at it. I, I'm really quite bad actually at making time for myself. So um, I like to take a bath and like put on like a face mask but I rarely make time to do that. Um, I don't know. That's hard. I like. I like. I do like to see my girlfriend. Um, I have a, a really close friend, and we try to get together at least once a month. Um, and we just meet up for like a drink and an appetizer or whatever. And we talk as fast as we possibly can to fill each other in on everything that's going on in our lives. And she is like my person that I can just like dump everything on if I'm having a bad day or I'm stressed out. And like she's just. Hey Logan, Logan. He's making a video. Question number 13 is how often does your husband chip in? Um, I try not to ask him to chip in that much, uh, but when I do ask, he's he's good about it. Question 14 is when do you find time to do chores with kids in the house? Um, I, I use TV, I do. I know a lot of you are gonna wanna like burn me at the stake for that, but it, it, I do. I, I turn on a show for them that is something that I is appropriate for them to watch, something Mommy. educational or something, and I will put that on and I will do whatever I need to get done. Um, with that said, I do include them in things. Like my son, uh, he empties, helps me empty the dishwasher. They put their clothes in the hamper for me. Um, they'll help me like switch over laundry and um, help pick up toys and things like that, of course. But they are pretty little. My son is five and my daughter is three. So sometimes I just need to get stuff done. So I'll turn on a show and just do it quickly. But um, I do I do incorporate them in certain things. Just if I'm really like, if I'm scrubbing toilets and stuff, I don't want them doing that yet because of the chemicals that I use and things like that. So yeah, but um, yeah, I use, I use TV. And there, I get it if you hate TV, that's awesome. If you never ever turn on the TV, that's great. But um, I do, believe in using TV, especially like educational good shows and our Bible story shows or something like that. I'm totally cool with them watching that for a little bit while I get some stuff done. Okay, this is perfect timing for this next question. Question 15 is, 
how do you become or I'm sorry, how do you balance being a homemaker and creating YouTube content? Like I said, right now my kids are in the other room watching a show. Literally, they just broke the door off of the entertainment center. So how do I balance it? I don't, I just try to do it and sometimes it ends with a broken door. Okay, kids are getting antsy, so let's get through this. Question number 16, what is your favorite room in the house and why? I don't have one in this house. Maybe I will in the next one. Okay, question 17 is what is your least favorite room in the house and why? And that would definitely be our um, main bathroom, like our guest bathroom, and that is because we paid to have it remodeled and the contractor did a crappy job. And every time I go in there, it makes me angry that we spent money on it and it was poorly done. So that is my least favorite room in the house. Question 18, do you feel that your house reflects your personality and style? Not really. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Not really, I don't think so. Question 19, what does your home smell like? I don't know. Um, coffee, probably in the morning. Uh, we always have coffee. So coffee, probably coffee or um, Bath and Body Works candles. Those would be like the two smells. And the last question is number 20. That is what are your strong and weak points in being a homemaker? Hmm. Um, I would say my strong point is planning. I'm good at planning things uh, as far as like schedules and that sort of thing. I am not good at I get overwhelmed there we go I, I I have my weak point would be that I get overwhelmed very easily especially by clutter and if I get overwhelmed I tend to just kind of zone out so like if the kitchen's a huge mess I might not jump right in and clean it because I'm just overwhelmed and don't want to deal with it so um yeah take it for what you will so that is the homemaker tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to do this tag, I would love to see your video. So let me know in the comments below and I will go watch your video. If you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.